Right, so far, we've talked extensively about the ADAS model of income determination. However, there is another model in the syllabus we have yet to explain that helps us uh, explain certain concepts that are more difficult to represent on the ADAS model. And we call this model the Keynesian or aggregate expenditure model on income, of income determination. So let's begin by going through the assumptions of this model. They are as follows. A constant level of technology a constant productive capacity or potential output, and a fixed general price level. In other words, there's no inflation. I recall that the x-axis of the ADS model is real national output. However, since one of the assumptions, as I've mentioned before, of the AE model is that there are no inflationary pressures, the x-axis of the AE model is nominal national output. Nominal means inflation is not taken into account. Additionally, since we have assumed that the price level is fixed, the y-axis of, of the AE model must also change. Here, we simply label it AE instead. 